Hi. Um, today we'll uh, set up our WASP chain and uh, learn how to do that on our node network. So um, WASP chains are as uh, you can you can deploy on top of WASP nodes. Uh, on on top of one WASP node, you can deploy as many WASP chains as you as you want. Uh, you can think of uh, WASP chains as, as analogous to something like an, an entire blockchain. So, so we'll be deploying smart contracts on a WASP chain. We'll be interacting uh, with smart contracts via the WASP chain and so on. Later on, we'll also deploy EVM chain on top of WASP chain. Um, so let's get started. Before running WASP chain, <coughs> sorry, we'll have to run uh, the WASP node. Uh, which, uh, as, as you can see, we are will be doing like that. Just one second. Uh, I don't want uh, all of the other other logs to come in between, so I'll just uh, run it like that. I'm just uh, making it short so we can get uh, more visibility over here. Uh, before uh, running Wasp uh, uh, chain, we'll have to initialize the Wasp CLI. Uh, we, we did build during the first uh, step while while building the uh, while building wasp and itself so once we initialize what it'll do is it will create a random um, sorry it will create a a seed inside of your inside of your uh, um, inside of your wasp uh, this this CLI and uh, this will also add on some uh, you can obviously replace the seed with your own with your own uh, choice and uh, and and proceed accordingly. Uh, we'll have to add uh, some more uh, lines to this, uh, and particularly, all right. So, um, all right. Um, one uh, the 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 first thing is the details of a of the wasp uh, node itself so we'll will it will be something like uh, uh, this now what this tells is that our wasp node is running on uh, uh, on 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 this particular port and uh, we can connect with uh, the peers and uh, you know the messaging the messaging uh, uh, endpoint and so on <coughs> we will also need to uh, to configure the go shimmer uh, the go shimmer network in here uh, which will help uh, in anchoring any of the um, it, it, any of the smart contracts that we deploy it will need to also write to the layer one so it so that part also needs to be done um, you can obviously you know change this to say localhost or something uh, we'll let's just go with this for now. Uh, we need the uh, so we need uh, faucet. Uh, we need some balance into our this particular seed, the address generated from there. And for that, you need to set the faucet power target as minus one. All right. Once you have done that, um, let's just uh, save and exit from here, and. Uh, the next thing that we'll do is we'll deploy this wasp chain um, to do that uh, there are a few configurations that we need to be uh, that we need to be mindful of one is a committee uh, which so every wasp node uh, sorry every, every every each of the each of the wasp chain will uh, will form a committee of its own on the on the wasp node itself um, these these will be the validator committees uh, which will which will form so and every valid and you have to, you can also define the quorum size of it so every valid every every valid uh, committee that will be forming around it um, we will define how many of those uh, how many of out of those uh, out of those committee uh, will require the quorum for anything to pass along so always set this at uh, less than the less than the number of committee size so if you have the committee as uh, four uh, then then always set the quorum to three um, you can you can write uh, a chain name for it so if you if you're writing say wasp test we can you know write something like uh, dev test or something and uh, instead of uh, and, and you can also you know write some description to it this is particularly helpful if you have to um, say if you have multiple chains running and you are uh, 
differentiating between the different chains based on the functionality itself. So once you have done that, this should run. Uh, but before that, we have to also, uh, so we did uh, define, you know, we have to request funds first uh, because our chain will require that. So first, let's just require, request funds. Um, in the previous one, the was CLI, we had set the uh, we had set the seed itself. So this will uh, get some funds into that uh, seeds. All right. So we have got some funds in here. Uh, once you have once you are clear on that, uh, we can just obviously, you know, do this uh, do this part. Uh, let's just rename this to dev test just to make sure and. Uh, uh, let's just first head to you know the and uh, see that there are no chains deployed right now so we should be good um, once we do this it will deploy one chain on our wasp node and uh, we'll be able to see uh, that thing so once we are trying to do that you will see you'll notice that uh, it's trying to create a new chain the owner address is this which is the address on which we got our uh, funds and uh, this is state controller. All right, so we have got, uh, so this is the transaction which went through and uh, our wasp chain is uh, created. Let's uh, verify that over here. And yeah, so we'll see that uh, it has, you know, one peer and six contracts and it is very active, very much active. Uh, some default contracts are, are already get deployed. These are the core contracts, um, governance which will uh, which will which which will have data on uh, what will be the what, what will be the valid fee and so on so you can configure all that using the governance contract the accounts contract and all that uh, obviously you can you know uh, feel free to read more about that right now there's uh, this, this is pretty much empty but our wasp chain is right now deployed and good to go thank you all for joining